Hi everyone, it's Friday the 13th of September, it's nearly 20 past 3 in the afternoon and I've got this Dell Latitude working. Now I bought this a couple of months ago at a car boot fair as spares or repairs, I can't remember what I paid for it. But uh, I do believe I bought another one or two from the same person. Yes I did, I believe I got an Advent which I've still got, it's actually not far from here. And a Samson, that was it. The Samson I have pulled apart for spares because I couldn't be bothered to fix it and it wasn't worth it. Um, the advent worked. This one turned on but wouldn't recognise that there was a hard drive connected or the um, SSD. Now it takes drives like this. Um, this is a Toshiba 160 gigabyte. This is actually smaller than an ordinary laptop hard drive. Um, but it came with an SSD, a SanDisk SSD. Now, I played with it for ages, tried a USB external hard drive, it read from that fine. In fact, I could have installed a OS that way. Um, but it just would not recognise either this or the SSD was connected. So, I sort of put it on the back burner after suspecting this to be the problem and earlier this week I actually went and uh, bought a replacement one of these because they were pretty cheap on eBay I think it was about three pounds something like that um, and it arrived this morning so I put it in using the SSD which came with it and it works so the gamble paid off you're probably thinking, you know, how did this fail? I mean, I've looked at this and I cannot see any possible, you know, anything that could suggest a break in a connection or anything, but being a ribbon cable like this, all it would take is just, you know, a hairline break across here and you don't have to see it with a naked eye and that would be enough just to make the cable go fault. It could even be something on this connector that I can't see. Because there's a lot of contacts on there. I'll bring it in a bit closer. A lot of tiny little contacts on there. I mean, this end actually looks fine. It could even be the bend in here. There could be a break, an unseen break right across there that actually plugged into the back of the drive. But uh, yeah, so I can go in the bin. It's a faulty cable. And if I want to take it all apart again, I would actually try this hard drive as well, but I cannot be bothered. Um, there should, uh, the only thing that's missing is the battery that plugs in there, but the battery has got the palm rest attached to it. It's all one unit. And that's gone horrible because it was covered in that um, uh, IBM laptops. IBM used to put it on theirs, that sort of coating that goes really horrible and sticky over time. That's what's happened to the palm rest, which is why I haven't put that back on. And actually, at the minute, I don't know where it is. I may have even thrown it in the bin <laughs> when I had a clean-up. Um, but yeah, it works. It's got Windows 7 on it. 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, two gigabytes of RAM. Don't know if that's upgradable. I haven't looked. Um, probably not. But that's not a problem. I don't intend to actually use this for any purpose. But it's got a lot of bollocks installed on it as well. That's what I like to call it. Just it's bollocks. Um, so we've got TuneUp Pro, well that can piss off. No, I do not want to bloody buy it. No internet connected, it has got Wi-Fi. Uh, so you've got a warning thing there. So what am I actually going to do? What we got, we've got something just labelled browser, I have no idea what that is. Advanced Protector, TuneUp Pro, Smart Defrag, 
Advanced System Care 7 McAfee Security Dropbox IO Bit Uninstaller Adobe Reader and IO Bit Malware Bloody Blah Blah. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm using this an external USB mouse because the mouse pads are not very good on this. Well, I've actually just noticed it's got one of these little track knob things here. Oh, that works really well. You know, IBM's used to use those as well, the little knob thing on in the middle of the keyboard. This one's actually blue. But the, as you can see when I run my finger on the mouse pad, it, <laughs> the cursor barely moves, so... Yeah. But I'll, I'll stick with the USB mouse for now, so... I want to go into, not that... Um, what I wanted to do. Control panel for now and I want to go to can't find it. Let's <laughs> try colour backup date time default pro no not default programs. Not devices and printers. It's been a while since I've used Windows 7 so I can't actually remember what it's called. <laughs> Program and features, that's it. I think it's actually the same as Windows 10. So, what shite have we got on here? Advanced System Protect, we can get rid of that. I've actually noticed that there is no audio on this either. I don't know if it's muted. I'm not seeing an audio icon down there. There's an external audio control. No. Do have brightness doohickey there. Hmm. Uh, full uninstall. Yes, just uninstall it. Holy moly, that's all I want to do. Just uninstall the bloody thing. It's bloatware, or bollocks as I call it. Advanced system protector that should be coming. Amazon Cloud Drive. Better price check. Someone really did like installing crap on this. I've got a feeling this might be like a reinstall of Windows 7, so I don't think all the necessary drivers have been installed. Are we actually going to... are we doing anything? Okay, so someone's got a weed whacker going outside. I didn't think I actually had that. Oh yeah, there's a garden just over there. Durr. Yeah, I'm trying to do this and trying to keep it... Am I doing a good job at keeping out of the way of the camera? Yeah. Seems that way anyway. This is taking its time to do whatever it is it's got to do. Wi-Fi appears to be on, but I cannot remember my Wi-Fi code off the top of my head. It would be nice if I could get a replacement battery for this without the palm rest. I don't know if they do that option. I don't know if the palm rest was optional or if that's how these came as standard. And in case you're wondering, while we wait, it's a Dell Latitude D430. I don't know about anyone else, but I do like Dell machines. There's just something about their design and... I know because they're like OEM machines, the upgradability is pretty minimal on a lot of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them, but still. You know, for a OEM machine, I... I can't quibble with them. Okay, we were waiting for it to do something. It doesn't look like that was actually going to do anything. <laughs> uh, yes, I will delete browsing data just for the privacy of the previous owner and the user. 
that way I can't be nosy either. Dropbox, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. I know bit apps toolbar, we don't need that, do we? I'll show you that. If you want to run install it, just do it. <laughs> and this weekend I am actually going to a um, 1940s themed weekend at the North Norfolk Railway which is a heritage line here in North Norfolk actually I think Norfolk has got three because we've got the Bure Valley which is a narrow gauge North Norfolk Railway is the full sized big boys I don't know what gauge that is actually called <laughs> um, And then there's the Mid Norfolk Railway as well. All um, heritage lines. So, but once a year, every September, the North Norfolk Railway holds a 1940s weekend. Um, starts at a town, coastal town called Sheringham, and runs through to Holt. Um, they also have the Battle of Britain fly past to come over. I don't know if it'll be the full fly, um, you know, the full team or if it's just going to be the Lancaster. Um, yeah, they have quite a lot going on. Train rides, you can, if you start at Sheringham, which is where we'll start, and we'll find somewhere to park. Um, you go into the ticket office, you can buy a ticket that will allow you travel all day on the trains to and from as many times as you like well for as many times as the train runs that day I think they have like two on um, and I know at Holt at least they do have or at least the last time I went, which was quite a few years ago now, they had uh, people dressed up in military clothes and some guns firing blanks and like a little military dramatisation, I suppose, play, whatever you want to call it, on the um, platforms at Holt. Um, I know that Sheringham has got the um, gift shop and whatnot. You can buy model railway stuff and... Refreshments, and they have, um, or at least when I last went, they had a vehicle display. Vehicles from the 1940s at both Weybourne, which is sort of like the in between, well, it is actually between Sheringham and Holt, and at Holt. So, um, yeah, they do have quite a lot going on. I've got like a, a venue, big field venue thing at Holt that you can um, go on there. Again, last time I went they had people there setting up stalls and that's actually where a lot of the vehicles were on display. So, I don't know if I'll get any video footage but I'll definitely get photos. And I'm looking forward to it as well. And I think... I think I'm just about there. Well, smart defrag is not in this list, so it could actually be a system. Land system, just okay. IO bit, that's still on there, but it's not in the list. show up in camera but I keep coming up in all these little bumps 
itchy little bumps all over. My legs are the worst. My back, my chest, my legs, my arms. How I've actually got skin left, I don't know. Right, I'm gonna let that do its thing. Let's yeah. see if there's uh, anything else. Ah. So there is a lot in here, it's all folders, so I'm not gonna go through that on camera just for the previous owner's privacy. Because I don't know what's in it. And I don't think they'd appreciate me, you know, broadcasting that on camera anyway. What was I actually going to do? I'm going to do something specifically, and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> the SSD is only a 30 gigabyte drive, and there's 1.86 gigabytes free. You know? Space-wise, this hard drive would actually be quite an upgrade because it's 160 gigabyte, but it'll be slower. And like I said, I don't really plan to do anything on this. I'm guessing by the time I've gone through this downloads folder, as well as um, the other documents folder, yeah, I'll probably free up quite a few gigs anyway. I freed up some, I suppose, un uninstalling those programs. Surely grass cutting must be coming to end of season by now. Oh, he's he or she, whoever's using that strimmer, as we call it here. We don't call them weed whackers here; we call them strimmers. I've just snapped the wire, just heard that classic um, sound they make when the cutting wire snaps. Whee! Looks like the previous owner had a Kindle. Considering what's on here, I'm guessing this was uh, used a fair bit. quite clean and actually going by the um, mouse pad there is actually a big circle right in the middle that's been worn into it so I don't know I might have a look on eBay and see if I can find another one of these or maybe the, another touch pad to put on there I don't think it would be that difficult to replace it it's not that difficult to take this apart there's not a lot to it I mean I'm halfway there <laughs> Just a few extra screws and I'll be the rest of the way there. Yeah. And actually this mouse pad, I just thought it might actually be part of that panel there. I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look on eBay, see if I can find anything. You know, perhaps one with a screen missing or a smashed screen, because I don't really need that. Well, it would be handy for a spare, but I don't need it. Anyway. I'm just rambling on about crap now. The clock's right. The clock is actually right. Actually, though, this one's a little bit fast, unless my clock on the wall's a little bit slow. But then again, my central heat and clock is also sound the same time. Actually, you know it isn't. It's a minute slow. <laughs> yeah, it's not actually far off. So, anyway. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you liked the video, if you did, thumbs up, if you didn't, thumbs down, and I will talk to you in the next video, bye!